Hello students, let's do angles and their properties, exercise 18D, questions 4 to 7. So this is found on page number 199. Question 4. Using the figure given alongside, fill in the blanks. So we've been asked to find some angles and the first one is angle X. So let's look at the figure and see where angle X is. We have angle X here and let us see how angle X is related to the 60 degrees, the value of which is already given. And as you can see, they are corresponding angles. Corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, angle X is equal to 60 degrees because they are corresponding angles. Now we need to find angle P. Okay, let's see how angle P is related to angle X because that is the value that we have. So we're looking at that. So we have angle X here and we have angle P here. In what way are these two angles related? They are exterior alternate angles. Both are outside and they are alternate to each other. So they are called exterior alternate angles and exterior alternate angles are equal. Therefore, angle P is equal to angle X. So the value of angle P is the same as the value of angle X, which is 60 degrees. So let's write 60 degrees here. Next, we need to find the value of angle R. Now, let's look at where R is. Okay, we can find it here. We have angle R here and angle R and angle X are angles on a straight line. They are a linear pair of angles and linear pair of angles will add up to 180 degrees. So angle R plus angle X equals 180 degrees. So let's find the value of angle R. Substitute for angle X, which is 60 degrees. They add up to 180 degrees. So angle R is equal to 180 degrees and moving plus 60 to the right hand side, we get minus 60 degrees. Therefore, angle R is equal to 180 minus 60, which is 120 degrees. So let's write that down there, 120 degrees. So we have found angle X, R and P. We need to find a few more angles. Now we need to find angle Z. Okay, now let's locate angle Z and see where it is. So we have angle Z here. Now the easiest way to find angle Z is if you look directly opposite it, you can see angle P. So these are two vertically opposite angles and vertically opposite angles are equal. So angle Z is equal to angle P. So angle Z is equal to, what is the value of angle P? 60 degrees. So we have got angle Z to be 60 degrees. Next we find angle Q. Now let's see where angle Q is. Okay, so we have angle Q here. It's here. Now, if you look at angle Q and P, they are a linear pair of angles. Q and Z, they are also a linear pair of angles. Q and R, they are exterior alternate angles. You can use one of these properties, any one of these to find the value of angle Q. So here, let's use a property, linear pair of angles. That means we're taking these two angles. Okay, we're taking these two angles, they form a linear pair. That means angle Q plus angle P should be equal to 180 degrees. So let's find out the value of angle Q. P is 60 degrees. Together they add up to 180 degrees. Therefore angle Q equals 180 degrees moving plus 60 to the other side we get minus 60 degrees. Therefore, 
angle Q equals 180 minus 60, which is 120 degrees. So let's write the value 120 degrees. Next, we find the value of angle S. Now, let's locate angle X and see where it is. Angle X is right here. Okay, now if you look carefully, angle X, S and angle X are a linear pair of angles. Angle S and angle R are vertically opposite angles. Angle S and angle Z are interior, co-interior angles. Angle S and angle Q are corresponding angles. Now, there are many ways for us to find this. Let's use the one that's easiest for us, vertically opposite angles. So, angle S is vertically opposite to angle R. They are both vertically opposite angles. Therefore, they are equal to each other. So, angle S is equal to angle R. And what is the value of angle R? 120 degrees. So, this is the value of angle S. So, let's write that down there. 120. So, we have found the value of all the unknown angles here. Now, we will move on to the next question. Question 5. In the figure given alongside, find the angles shown by X, Y, Z and W. So, let's start with the first one that is angle X. Okay, now where is angle X? We have angle X here. Angle X is here. And let's look at the angle directly opposite, which is 150. And these two, as you can see, are vertically opposite angles. And vertically opposite angles are equal. Therefore, angle X is equal to 115 degrees. So I can write 115 degrees here. Then we go on to angle Y. So let's see angle Y. Let's look at angle Y now. Now angle Y is here and opposite that we have angle 70, 70 degrees. So angle Y and angle 70 degrees, they are vertically opposite each other. So vertically opposite angles are equal. Therefore, Angle Y is equal to 70 degrees. Now let's go on to the next one. We look at angle Z. Look at angle Z here and let's see how it is related to one of the angles that we can see. Okay, angle Z and angle 70 degrees, they are interior alternate angles. Angle Z and angle Y are corresponding angles. You can use any one of these properties to find the value of angle Z. So, angle Z and angle Y. Now, this is the property that we are going to use now. They are corresponding angles. So, they should be equal to each other, isn't it? So, angle Z should be equal to angle Y. And we found out the value of angle Y in the previous thing. It is 70 degrees. Therefore, angle C is equal to 70 degrees. Now, let's go on to angle W. Where is angle W? Let's locate it. Okay, so we have angle W here. Now, let's see how we can relate it to any of these angles, X and the other angle 150. Now, if I look at this angle, angle W and angle X are corresponding angles. Now, if I take the other one, 115, angle W and 115 are interior alternate angles. So, we will take that, we will take angle W to be equal to 115 because they are both interior alternate angles. Question 6. Find A, B, C and D in the figure given below. So, let's start with, west, with angle A. So, we have angle A here and as you can see, directly opposite that, we have angle 130. The value of that angle is 130. 
So A and 130 are vertically opposite angles and vertically opposite angles are equal. Therefore, angle A is equal to 130 degrees. So let's go on to B. Now B is here and directly opposite that you have 150. So B and 150 as you can see are vertically opposite angles. And we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. Therefore, angle B is equal to 150 degrees. Now, we'll move on to angle C. So, where is angle C? We have it here. Angle C and 150 degrees here, as you can see, are interior alternate angles. And interior alternate angles are equal. Therefore, angle C is equal to 150 degrees. Let's look at angle D now. Angle D is here and we have 130 here. So, angle D and 130 degrees are interior alternate angles. And we know that interior alternate angles are equal. So, angle D equals 130 degrees. Question 7. Find x, y and z. Okay, let's see where x is. We have x here and we have 75 degrees here. They are co-interior angles and co-interior angles are equal to 180. That means angle x plus 75 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Angle X is equal to 180 degrees and moving plus 75 degrees to the right hand side we get minus 75 degrees. Therefore, angle X equals 180 minus 75 which is 105 degrees. So let's write that down. Angle X is 105 degrees. Now let's go on to find Y, angle Y. Now if you look at angle Y and angle X, they also are co-interior angles. Okay, so angle Y plus angle X should add up to 180 degrees. So let's find angle Y. Angle Y plus angle X is equal to 180 degrees. So angle Y plus X is 105 degrees. So this is 180 when you add them up. Angle Y equals 180 degrees. And when you move plus 105 to the other side, you get minus 105 degrees. So angle Y equals 180 minus 105 is 75 degrees. So now we found angle Y. Let's write down the value there. It's 75 degrees. Now let's go on to find angle Z. Now angle Z is here. And we have 75 degrees here. And if you see, they are both corresponding angles. Angle Z and 75 are corresponding angles and corresponding angles are equal. That means angle Z is equal to 75 degrees. So we have found the value of angle Z also.